I came to the river yesterday in the boat, drove in some ditty poles on this bank I could walk over to. He just a test run, five ditty poles. See, these two are hanging straight. I got one on here. I got one on the line up here. I don't know what we got. We're gonna put the boat in and then I'm gonna come over here and run these. I'm by myself, so I was trying to make this easy. Um, but we got at least two. So let's see what we got. I get this boat put in. I'll be back with you. No bait on that one. See if I can just grab it. Got some guys up there wanting a flathead, so I'm gonna take it to them. There we go. About a four pound flathead. So I only hung out five lines just to see how it would work. And it looks like the night bite's a little bit better. All right. Yeah. Glenn just set these ditty poles out the other day and we came out here to set out some limb lines and we got them bouncing. So we're gonna see, see what we can pull out of here. I'll get this boat put up. Nice. Got it. <laughs> I have no idea these bluegills keep the green structure. Might be what we got on that one. I about just fell out the boat. You did. My boat is. I know. My yeah. boat is soaking oh, wet. Right. Here's your bait. And this. That's the size of the bluegill that this channel cat just ate. Nice. First time running the lines. See what old Glenner got himself into here.
There's the channel cat I told you about. Give them to somebody. Oh, Quick, quick release. We'll get back to y'all if we got any more. We got another one, we think. I don't know, though. I gotta try and find us a room to get on. Look at there. Got another one. There's Glenn's flathead he's talking about. Here, let me grab one of them. You need a big one, but we'll take it. Here we go. Our first flathead of the day. Uh, three pounders. They don't go back. All right, camera roll. See what we can't get ourselves into. I think he reeled down on him. I think he went up. Is he there? Yeah. Another day. Another fish. Keep him out of that anchor root. If you can. Oh, he ripped some drag then. They're feisty. Good boy. On the back. Right oh, that's a big one. Oh, we got another one down right there. Hold on. I'm gonna set y'all down. I gotta get this fish out. Oh, what a mess. So, this one's gonna go about 11. That was gonna go about six. So, you ain't done we're not weighing them. <laughs> we're gonna have to get some lines back out and uh, see what we can do. This one's, this one's been hit by something. His face is messed up. So, he got snagged or something happened to his face. We're gonna let him go back. We're gonna put this little guy back. He's pretty beat up from the spawn. But this is our third trip to the Arkansas. We ain't been anchored up for three minutes, if that. He caught these two, and I think these two are hung up. But we're gonna see if we can get them unhung, and uh, we'll be back on it. That makes three. Slow bite. He's so slippery. Ah, oh. there you go. A little channel cat. Third one for today. So real slow. 
We got a snake right here. It just went in a toe. Still alive. Look at that snake, Glenn. I seen it. I'm gonna get him on camera. That's cool. Gar. They gar everywhere. A water missile. Huh. Oh. Try and get this tied back up. We'll check this thing off. We just baited him. Another gar. I told you I saw something. Swimming across the top of the water. That looks like a little alligator going. I just got me saying, I just do this one.